In this video, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to create awesome light effects in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so let's say you created something in Photoshop. You can see here, I have this line here and I have a background. Those are separate layers. Now, in between the line and the background, I'm going to create light effects. So first of all, let's make a layer in between our subject and the background. And then we need to take a brush. So let's go here and just take the soft round brush. Now for the color, we need to pick some color that matches our light effect. So for instance, I could select something a bit like kind of orange, very light orange, more like kind of yellow orangey like this. And let's click OK. Make sure your opacity and flop is at 100. And let's first make a dot. Now you can see it because it's behind the line, but I'm going to place it there. And with Ctrl T, I'm going to resize it. So first of all, I want to make sure this light effect is at the spot where my lighting should be. Now the best way to check this is you can see here on this line it has shadows on the left side and this side is lighter so i wouldn't place it here i will place it here and also the sky there is slightly lighter so this is the first one and let's change this one to screen and now let's duplicate this by pressing ctrl or command j and now put it above the line so over the layer of your subject and here i can move this around again now I'm going to drop the opacity just a little bit here. So I don't want to ruin the line too much. I just want to have some light going over him. Let's make a new layer again. And this time I'm going to change the color to something more colorful. But I'm also going to use the same range of colors. So you can see here it's more like orangey. And let's make a dot again in the center. Now take the move tool and move this dot there. And change blend mode to overlay. And now press Ctrl or Command T and resize this. Now you can see we get these warm tones. Let's press enter and let's drop the opacity just a little bit. Let's create one more and let's change the color first. And this time I'm going to do something lighter again in between the first one and the last one. Press OK. Let's make it out again and let's put it there again. And this time I'm going to select screen again. Here you can see it. And what I'm going to do now is press Ctrl T or Command T and hold down Ctrl and stretch it out. I want to make more of a light beam. Let's make this bigger, just like that. And let's stretch it out even more like that. I'm going to duplicate this again to have more lighting. And this one I'm going to place behind the line. You can see here, I can create some lighting more there. And I can see we already have some light effects. Now let's do one more. And this time I'm going to do a bit more colorful again. Make a dot. Make the, take the move tool, move it around. Let's make it bigger first. And try to play with these kind of blend modes here. So sometimes this also works with it light or hard light, but I think overlay and soft light are the most important ones. Let's try overlay here. You can see here I can create this. Let's make this even bigger. I'm gonna make this really big here, but I'm gonna drop the opacity because it's too orange now. All right, so we have lighting there. Now we can create a new curves adjustment layer on top of this one. And I can here control how hard I want to have this lighting. So if you want to have super lighting here, you can increase this one, but don't go too much because you can really blow out the white tones. Let's make some more contrast there. Let's just do it slightly like that. And this one we can increase. All right, we have some lighting here. And now if you feel like sometimes you did too much of these effects, just disable them or enable them back or play with the opacity and that way you can really control your lighting. Let's do one more when I have more of a light beam, but this time I'm going to go slightly lighter for the color. Just going to make a dot again, change the blend mode to screen, oh, screen, and then press Ctrl T and hold down Ctrl and stretch it out. I'm going to make a light beam here like that. Let's go closer here and I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to use the same one. And this I'm going to press Ctrl T and I'm going to make them like that. So you have this kind of shape. And let's change blend mode to overlay. And now we can move this to overlay and now we can move this to the border of our of the edge of our line. So I'm duplicating this and I'm moving this on the places where the line is ending right so let's move it there let's duplicate this 
Now you can see how many times I'm duplicating this just to place it there around them. You can also try screen. Let's do screen for this one. Duplicate. And let's make them smaller here. I feel like this is way too big. And just try to get like these around the edges of the lion. Just like that. Now you can see we created these nice light effects around the edge of the lion. So let's see what we had before. Let's put this all in a folder so I can see this better. I'm going to group them. You can see this before and now we have this. We created this awesome light effects. Now for the background it got really kind of orangey. So I want to change the colors a bit. So I'm going to go here and do color balance. And I'm going to add some more red tones to this and some yellow tones. And this way it blends way better with this line. Maybe this one was a bit too much. So you can see how many layers I created and you can just duplicate those layers and try to place them around the line to create this effect. And that's how easy you can create this light effect on your photo. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and catch you on the next one.